Hello, 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 all of our Motor City Solutions Facebook followers. Dan Brooks and I here doing the Tony Soprano edition of Facebook Live. There's my little notification. Ooh, wait. We are going to do a special edition of the Facebook Live on a very special customer's. What year? 1965. 1965. Ford. Ford. Mustang. Mustang. Fastback. 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 That's the key Ooh. word. Fastback. Fastback, baby. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Okay. Now, wait. That's not what I wanted. Ah! ah! Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now it's the Joker ah! edition. Joker edition. Evil clown Why edition. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. That was quite unexpected, I must say. Okay. Man, how do I shut this thing off? It's got so. <laughs> Aww. 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 <laughs> Dan, you have lipstick. Can you? Wow, look. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So we're back to our normal view here. Yeah. That's, and that's, uh, that's how I, I that's how I roll every day. Yeah. That's how we roll every at day, Motor City. Okay. You good? You yeah. good? My you fi you fixed your hat. You like touched it. <laughs> okay. Ready? We're right. gonna go. We're going right Let's go. go. Ready? Let's go regular. Hey! I don't know. It's better with the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen and Dan here at Motor City Solutions Hot Rods and Restorations. Yep. It is Friday afternoon and everybody is gone from the shop. Very quiet here now. Yeah, it's very quiet. Hear, I know. How do I? Okay, I gotta turn this. There we go. Hey, you guys. Hello, bonjour, bonjour, Jose. I can like the comment. So, um, the shop is pretty much empty. The guys are gone for the day, and we are doing a real quick bonus live feed for a very special customer in Denmark mm -hmm. on his Mustang Fastback. So right. we'll switch it up and show you guys what we've got going on. What's his name? Torben. 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 Yeah, I was I was hello. trying to see if say, you remember. Say hello to Torben. Say Hi, hello Torben. to Torben. Hi, Torben. Hi, Torben. Hi, Torben. Yeah. Here, Rogan, like can you see me? Hi, yeah. Torben. Hi, Torben. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the shop is very empty. We have all the cars pulled in from the outside world because we would never leave a vehicle outside. Because it's going to rain. Because it is going to rain this weekend. That's right. Even the Motor City truck gets to... Cars will melt in the rain. Cars will melt in the rain. So we are looking at the 19... 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. 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 Fastbacks are the premier Mustangs of this period. Everybody's got to have a Fastback. Yeah, the, every, I remember, uh, shout out to our customer Dave Hartline. He was at Woodward with us. He had that beautiful 67. Yes, 67 S-Code, yeah. Fast and that, yeah, Fastback. So S-Code, so what's the... the S-Code stands for the 390. Uh, V8, which is uh, like the GT with the bigger engine. Ah, okay, that's why everybody makes a riot about yeah, his car. car. Yeah. Very, very Britney blue, the color of that one is. And this one um, is a beautiful white. Do you know what the paint code is on that? Um, that's Wimbledon white. This is Wimbledon, Wimbledon white? white yeah. It's beautiful. That's a famous Ford color. Yes, it is. Actually, the first Ford Mustang ever made was a Wimbledon white convertible. Right. Mm -hmm. And the 10 millionth Mustang that was recently made was um, also Wimbledon was white. Really? Yes, oh, that, yep, wow. they did it specifically as a white, a Wimbledon white uh -huh. convertible in remembrance of the very first Mustang really? made. So yeah. That's something I didn't know. Boom, I hit the, I hit the Detroit automotive historian with the fact that he didn't know. Shout out to John Maury, Bill Dicer, and Jeff Adwell for teaching me something Dan did not know. Okay, Dan, so tell us a little bit about Torben's. Well, uh, 65 Mustang Fastback. Torben um, wanted a, a, a Mustang, and uh, his his cousin works at Ford and, and contacted me to find him the perfect Mustang. Uh huh. I'd and say you did a good job. So we searched all over the country, and I found um, searched all over the country and found uh, a couple cars before this, and they were all you know they were pretty bad, frankly, after we had them inspected. So I found this car in Atlanta, down in Georgia. Georgia. Georgia Peach. Georgia Peach. And um, it's a really nice, solid car. And the fellow that 
restored this car uh, owns the very first Mustang Fastback off the line. Oh wow, that's cool. And he was a Ford guy and a really good painter and a really uh, really knowledgeable guy, but apparently he about 90% through the, the, the restoration of this car, he got hurt and so he sold it to the fellow that I bought it from. Mm -hmm. And that guy um, kind of finished putting it together really quick. So there were a few things on, on the car. You could tell the difference between the workmanship of the guy that did 90% of it and the guy that finish it up finish it up quickly yeah, right right so um we bought the car brought it here and we're fit you know fine-tuning those few things that weren't properly done mm -hmm. and we added uh, power steering mm -hmm. and um torben is gonna uh, add uh, disc brakes and a, a hydro boost uh, brake system on it is he gonna go with the wildwood willwood no, we got bear brakes I, I already i bought the brakes for him but we're gonna ship them over so he can do it oh cool and very cool we, um, we put in a Dakota Digital Dash. Oh wow, those are very really, popular yeah, in the a very expensive classic dash, but it's really cool. Car industry here. Yeah. Sorry, viewers, bear with me. I'm trying to squeeze it. Can I? Can I put my feet yeah, in here? You can put your feet in. Okay, there we go. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's beautiful. And, uh, did they put that in here? Yeah, Motor Cities did that, and we got rid of the. And it had an, a, a stock dash, uh, the lower uh, price dash in it, and we added that. GT dash and a GT glove box. The glove box is yeah, beautiful. That's a glove box uh, door that's uh, specific to the GTs. That's beautiful. And one, the thing I love about this car is that it's all white. white I know. Inside and out. That really makes it pop. Uh, yeah, it really sets it off. Except for the carpeting. Why is, what is this, can that, okay, there it goes. There's some focus on that. Mm -hmm. Why is it say, why does it say day? Day, night. That's a day, night mirror. So you flip that so that it, uh, if you're driving at night and you have a car come up behind you with its brights on, you flip that on the night vision and it, and it kind of reflects the the uh, the high beams away, uh, away from you so that you, you don't get blinded by looking in the rear view mirror at a car that's coming up behind you. So. Sorry. Sorry. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it, what kind of quality the mirror had. Nice quality, <laughs> nice quality mirror, if I do say so myself. Now I got a little bit of glare going on here, Dan, yeah, um, to show off this beautiful yeah, the Dakota Digital Dash yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, let me try to do something yeah. like that. Here we go. Hold it back. Viewers, hit the like one time if you are getting a bad glare or if that is helping at all. Yeah, I think it's but helping. It's got uh, all the gauges built in and. Uh, I think it's got a tack on tack build into there too. So that... our friend Jose um, from is it France that says bonjour? Bonjour. Is that France? France yes. Jose. Um, la France. Let me know if France is where you are commenting from, and he says I can't speak French and it won't translate until the live feed is over. But he says magnifique and blanc so i think that means beautiful white beautiful white yeah. beautiful and white magnificent so, white magnificent yes so jose thank you for watching and tuning in with us today i would have to agree with you the white really really does um make this car pop it looks beautiful Sweet. wimbledon white very popular got, uh, vintage uh vintage wheels on it that uh the old torque thrust kind of style and uh we have to, uh, we're looking for a, a space saver spare because that tire will not fit in the trunk. Oh, really? It's too big for the trunk. So I Is it? A, yeah. You know, it's a, if You'd it think a, a fastback would have a bigger trunk, well, but the fastback really is about that large back yeah, window. It's, the, it, it's about the large window and the seat folds down, so you could do it Shelby style and mount, oh. and get rid of the, the rear seat and mount the tire in there. But Now you know, that is cool. You know, you know, now we, get, we do have a little... Uh, air cleaner box there so i don't know if uh yeah here don't worry we're not watching yet this is not live this is not live this is live this is live <laughs> steven how's it going over there um torben the owner of the fastback here is um I don't know if he's watching live, but he is in Denmark, and since he can't be here at Motor City Solutions, we wanted to do a little live video and show him what's going on with the car inside it out. And obviously, we wanted to show the viewers this beautiful 65 Fastback. Definitely a nice one. Yeah, because we know the Fastbacks, right, Stephen, are so... So if you look in the back... What's the word I'm looking for? Popular? popular. Requested, um, in high command... Uh, well, okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> wow. So this is a this is the GT. It's they call this a two plus two basically because you can only cram two people back here if you're lucky. Uh, but, if you're lucky. But see, this is the. Uh, let me get it to work here. Fold. Does it have one on this side? Fold oh down. wow! No, just fold down rear seats, eh? Look at that! So wow! So that's is that the feature that they do to that they call two plus two Mustang? Yeah, it's yeah. You know, it's because I always wondered why do they say two well, plus call, two? There's a lot of cars they call they say two plus two because it's really a two seater, but you can put two kids in the back. You know, oh, or, that's cool! You can get people back here, but it's it's a it's a tight fit. But so with that seat up, that that end uh, and then this column there up. is the trunk. Yeah, see, there's the trunk. Oh, okay, so, okay, the trunk's back what, there. The Shelby's what they did was they deleted this seat and then they had a roll bar in here and a, and a filler in here and a lot of times you could mount a spare back there, but it doesn't allow you to have a rear seat. And I'm sure Torben wants a rear seat. Torben, if Torben, you're wanting you want a, rear a rear seat. seat. You told me you wanted a rear seat. Can so we put the seat back up, Dan? I want to see how spacious it is. I'm gonna... This is too cool. And look at how like nifty and quickly that, boom, it just boom. goes right up. There you go. That's very cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. I think it's cool, Gwen. I like it. And what's this? Ask your viewers how many... Oh, cool. it's an ashtray, but That's we ashtray. probably won't be smoking no, in, in this car. Cars don't come with ashtrays too much anymore. No, I they think. don't. This one has two. And what did you want to ask the viewers, Dan? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> 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 I think the back seat is cool. <laughs> viewers, what do you think about the back seat? I like it. What is this? Dan, what is this? That's the vent. That's a vent. See the vents out here? You push that, mm -hmm. and it lets air, air flow. Oh my there. goodness, yeah. how handy. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it is. Look at the detail, look at the paint on this car. This car has beautiful paint, beautiful paint. It really does. It's a very, 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 very beautiful. And I love that um, the steering wheel wipe and the white uh, shifter yeah. knob. I beautiful. tried to convince him to put a wood grain, but I think he wanted to stick with the white, and I think he was right. Because yeah. that really, it ties it all in together. It definitely ties it in, so, and it is a beautiful. So we had a little bit of a transmission leak, so we took the transmission out, all new seals in the transmission. And then, uh, like I said, it's, uh... Hello, Enrico, that is watching from Manila. Did I say that right? Where's Manila at? Manila is in the Philippines. Hello, Enrico from the Philippines. Thank you for watching. So we put uh, wow. we put the power steering system on it because it didn't have power steering. Wow. And all a, a new gearbox with the power steering pump in it. This is clean. And, and uh, did some new wiring. Yeah, just one little little bit of color, just a bit of color. Ford blue. <laughs> Ford blue, I and love a, it. A new carburetor because the other one wasn't working properly, so we got a Holly That's 600. Have a Holly carb in there. Have a Holly carburetor. And just tightened up some things and. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a really nice... So this is the horn, obviously. It's a horn. Yep. Okay, and compared to that other one we Just, looked at on yeah, the last live smaller. feed. Yeah, yeah the yeah. other one was so funny. But it looks like a conch shell, kind of, you know, a seashell. Yes, it does. That's kind of what the other one looks yeah. like. Oh, they have two. Yep. A, a high tone a and beep, a low tone. A beep, beep. A beep, beep. <laughs> it's a high tone and a low tone, and together they scare you off the road. <laughs> Very good. And this has a Shelby fiberglass hood. Oh, it's too. a fiberglass yeah, hood. You can, if you look, you can see it. So if a car has under the hood looks like this, does that mean that that is a fiberglass? Or did they do the uh, metal hoods like that as well? Well, I think this one has a metal frame. Yeah. But you can you can see the grain of the fiberglass okay. in, in there. But Bear look, with me, I'm learning. They look, they look, they look pretty much the same. But, but make it a lot course. faster, yeah, right. You can tell by the weight. And, uh, a lot of times, this one fits extremely well. A lot of times, the aftermarket hoods will have, you know, uh, gap problems. Mm -hmm. Did we do any of the gapping here? Nope. This car came here, all painted, just the way it is. It's a beautiful paint job. Wherever, wherever the paint job is done, good work, painters. Yeah. And I went through a lot to get this car, so <laughs> <laughs> I almost got, I almost got one out in California. That, after I sent the inspector out, it looked good in the pictures, but it was not good in, in real life. So, so you went with the Georgia ride. Georgia. Beautiful. Cars from um, out that way, you know, you no normally see the bodies not nearly as rusted as a lot of Michigan right. cars. Right, right. Well, California and Arizona cars especially are good. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Up in the Dakotas, you can get uh, good solid cars too, but they're usually field cars that are, you know, pretty surface rusted. And um, Georgia is good. Tennessee is good. 
Florida, you gotta be We got careful. a Texas truck. That's where yeah. we got the Motor City truck oh, yeah. there. Te well, Texas is truck country, so you're yeah. going to find a lot of mm -hmm. good trucks in Texas. You know what we did see, um, I think that it was a Catalina we got from Phoenix, mm -hmm. and um, the body was really great, 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 mm -hmm. great condition, um, but we did see the interior completely dried. Well, yeah. They get baked So out, they get yeah. baked, yeah, yeah the cars from... In the, in the desert sun, so... Yep, yep, the but, cars from the south get baked interior, and but... The cars in, and the cars in Florida tend to rust out in the roof. Oh, really? And why is that? Well, because it's very moist uh, in Florida, and in the morning there's a lot of dew, and it all evaporates, and, it, uh, and the moisture kind of collects up in the tops of cars. So you'll see cars that have rust down the roof line mm -hmm. and the bottoms will be good, but the tops will be, have some rust too. So. Well, that's interesting. That's good to know. And here, obviously we see a lot of floor pans, trunk pans. Yeah, oh, Michigan, yeah. Michigan, <laughs> that's right. But that's okay, because in Michigan, we are home of the Motor City, yeah. including Motor City Solutions. Well, a lot of these cars have come to Michigan from all over the country. And nowadays it's, you know, cars over the years have come from Arizona and from California. To here and I've bought a lot of cars out in California and brought them here so there's, there's a good stock of them in this area now yes they yes there is definitely and so, um, people from all over love love the classics yeah. right they never go out of style you can never go wrong with a Mustang right? that's right Probably right right gotten, but well if you're a Chevy guy <laughs> <laughs> but Mustangs are always good so so Torben I hope you like your car and we're gonna ship it to Denmark here uh, in Maybe next week or the week after, we're going to get everything arranged. All so, right. Yeah. Well, we go right across the street to Beaver Packaging and put it in a container, tie it down into a container, and take it by rail to uh, New York and then uh, put it on a boat and over it goes. Wow. Yeah. Overseas, yeah. eh? Right, right. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. I think that. Um, I think Torben will love the car, and when it does get to him in Denmark, I'd love to see if he could send a video or a picture oh, over. Yes. I always like to see my, a lot of my customers, never, I never never tell me that they even got the car. Oh, I have to wow. call and find out, you know. So, yeah, I always love to see uh, cars. I have a picture of a 69 Mach 1 that I sent to the Netherlands, parked outside a great, in front of a great big windmill. Wow, that's, that's windmill. cool. Yeah. That is very cool. I always like to hear back. and. and See it where, where, where it's home. Yeah. yeah, so Torben, send uh, Dan and Motor City Solutions a photo of the Mustang 65 Fastback when it makes its way home. And, um, and we'd be very happy to see that. I would shut this off normally right now, but since it's the end of the day and it's very quiet in here and all the cars are pulled inside, I just want to do a really quick walk through the entire shop here and just show you guys what the end of the day looks like here at Motor City. The team is off at 5 o'clock. Um, some of the guys that work a little bit earlier um, are off at 4. Shout out to Joe McKay. I saw you tune in. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, so we're here in the back in the back of the shop and I am just gonna just walk right through and show you guys a little bit about uh, some of the cars that we have in house of course the Motor City truck and speaking of Joe McKay check out the interior on this 54 Chevy pickup the Motor City truck Joe since you're watching I think it's a good time to mention that the interior is very comfortable. We did drive this out to Woodward and also drove it to the Mustang Memory Show, but we weren't allowed in because it's a Chevy. And I'm loving the interior. I wonder if we could add one of those snap pockets. Yes, sir! And that's Dave Azell yelling for me. We have a gentleman picking up his car. Mark Smith is picking up the 38 Chevy. Okay, I'm live. Tell him I'm live. And I got you on camera yelling at me. Just kidding. He wasn't yelling at me. He was yelling for me. This is a good shot as I walk backwards. Mark Smith is leaving. He has his car. 38 Chevy full paint job here from Motor City Solutions. Bear with me, I am walking backwards. 
And so let's go. Let's rush up there and see if we can get some shots and some good video of Mark picking up his car. Ken Duke, shout out to the Challenger. Sorry the video is so shaky, guys. I'm trying to hurry. Okay, here we go. Got the Cougar. Okay, hopefully nothing crazy happens because we're live. You never know what's going to happen at Motor City Solutions. Hey, there's he, there he is. Never often do you see Dave as hell on the live feed. <laughs> hey Mark, I'm live. Hey. How are you? I know this is kind of surprising. Yeah. Did, did you get your t-shirt? Yeah, I got my t-shirt, thank you. Is that the right size? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, you finally got the 38 back. Finally, yeah. And are you happy? Oh, I like the job, but it took way too long to get her done. Well, I know, but I, you know what? I think that they were, you know, trying to match that paint and, you know, it was a process. But it looks great, right? Yeah, it looks good. Your work's, I don't doubt your work at all. It's good. Yeah, yep, it looks really good. So, um, Stephen was saying that you drive it often. Yeah, I drive it up to Frankenmuth. I'll drive it anywhere. Are you going to the Frankenmuth show coming up this? I'm not for sure if I am going to Frankenmuth, but I'll be in Kalamazoo. Oh, yeah? Are you going to be going to Heinz? I see it on your shirt there. Oh, yeah, I'll be down to Heinz Sunday. Okay, well, I might see you up there in the Motor City truck. All right, I'll say hi. <laughs> yeah, this does look pretty amazing. Um, if I had a photo of when the 38 Chevy came in, then um, I'm sure you guys would be alarmed at what you're looking at now because it was completely smashed. Mark, what... Um, you were in a pretty bad accident with the Chevy? It was hitting the rear at, at a red light. Yeah, and it was pretty smashed, dented up pretty good? or Trunk lid and uh, quarter panel and closed up the door gap a little. But it looks good. It does look good. Now, did you um, did you put the, the 38 and then the I saw the leaves up front? Oh, uh, no, they were on it when I bought it. Oh, okay. How long have you had this car? About three years. About three years. It's beautiful. Very nice, sir. Viewers, hit the heart one time for me if you are liking the 38 Chevy. The interior is obviously, well, can't see the interior because you can see me. Okay. Door, door's you, oh, okay. Well, I didn't want to just grab at it. Oh, hey, you got two shirts. One for the missus, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> There, you can really see the Chevy emblem in the interior here. Well, it looks great, and i um, glad to see that you have got it back, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you at some shows. All right. Sorry, my mom's calling. <laughs> All right, Mark, well, maybe I'll take a little live video of you pulling off in the Chevy. I took some photos um, before before um, you got here, so I can share those with you. I wonder if I can take a photo when I'm live. Take a photo. Oh, 